Bo Nix now at Oregon. Bit of a long shot on the Heisman list at plus 7,500. Top three favorites among quarterbacks C.J. Stroud, Bryce Young, and USC's Caleb Williams. Now, do any of these quarterbacks make Herbie's top precision passers list? Reese Davis for Curb Street Discuss. If the idea of week zero is to whet your appetite for the season, we've got something that will really make you hungry. The Herbie Awards handed out tonight. We've been doing this, I don't know, uh, 15 years or so, maybe close to 20 now. Reese Davis and Kirk Herbstreet here. And Kirk, we're going to have the show tonight, but let's give the people what they want. A bonus category that we won't see in the show, a precision passer. Give me the nominee. Well, first of all, this is a tough one to select. There's just so many experienced, talented quarterbacks, but I think we've got three outstanding ones. Start with C.J. Stroud at Ohio State. He stepped in for Justin Fields, and after a slow start, really became the guy and one of the best quarterbacks in the entire country. Has a boatload of talent around him to have another great year. And again, another guy, Bryce Young, stepped in for Mac Jones. A lot of pressure on him in Tuscaloosa. Leads the Crimson Tide to an SEC championship. Came close in a national title. Again, another guy that you expect to have a big year. And how about the ACC? Just loaded with quarterback experience. But I think Devin Leary of North Carolina State, I think Dave Doran's bunch have a chance to have a great year. And I think Devin Leary, with, again, the receivers and backs that he has to work with, has a chance as well to back up the 21 year where he played very well, maybe even be better in 22. The Herbie Award for Precision Passer goes to Ohio State quarterback C.J. Stroud. Hard to be much more precise. He set a Buckeye record with a 72% completion percentage. He was just on point all year. He really was, and you know, keep in mind, he, he had a couple wide receivers that uh, went on to play, Chris Olave and Garrett Wilson. Remember, they sat out in the Rose Bowl, and it was a big question about how would Stroud perform, and he had a couple young receivers, Marvin Harrison and Amika Abuka, who stepped up and did a really good job. Those two are back, uh, along with Julian Fleming. So uh, Ohio State, uh, because of the way they recruit, they've, they've completely, they don't rebuild, they just reload, and not to mention Trevion Henderson behind him. So what are you going to do? Load up to stop Henderson and be one-on-one -on, -one on the outside or worry about the pass game and let Henderson kill you. So, And C.J. Stroud, I think, from talking to, to Ryan Day, one area, you know, as a first-year starter, he wasn't necessarily a demonstrative leader. And I think now in this offseason, over the summer, they've really seen him take big steps in that area, which I think is an important part of his, de his development. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.